So this week's lesson is about filling the gaps of banjo backup. Uh, specifically, it's about playing with a dynamic volume, not playing too loud while a vocalist is singing, but also uh, playing a little bit louder and maybe per perhaps inserting a fill-in lick when the vocalist takes a breath or there's a little pause in the lyric. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate this. Dominic is going to sing Your Love is Like a Flower, and I will play backup banjo, playing a little softer while he's singing, and then filling in the gaps and playing a little louder. So that was the demonstration, and this is actually a really important lesson that a lot of banjo players don't realize. Many banjo players play too loud. They play loud, and that's all they know how to play. And you need to be able to play in time, but also adjust your volume to the situation. And so if a vocalist is singing, you need to support the rhythm, play a nice steady uh, metronomic rhythm in the background, but not too loud. Uh, if another instrumentalist is playing a solo, You've got to keep that rhythm going in the background, but you don't want to detract from the soloist. And different instruments are different volumes. So violin or fiddle is louder than a guitar. A mandolin is a little louder than a guitar. So you have to adjust your volume to what the sound is that's going on in the band at that time. So here I'm going to, to demonstrate what I was playing alongside Dominic Singh. Okay, so hopefully you could hear that there was a difference in volume uh, and a difference in what I was playing. So it's not a good idea to play something really uh, aggressive or with a lot of licks while the singer is singing. Instead, you want a very standard backup roll. And I'm demonstrating this down in the first position, uh, playing in the key of B here and just playing down the neck roll. So my standard roll is going on here. playing that rather softly but then when there's a little break and there's a vocalist uh, the vocalist takes a pause I'm playing a little lick or sometimes I don't even play a lick and I simply increase the volume so here's an example of playing just backup rolls in the key of G and then going to the key of C not playing a lick but just playing it a little louder so listen to this Now, of course, another way to add this dynamism to your playing if you're in a band is the way you play with a microphone. And so if you've ever seen the Lonesome River Band, uh, Sammy Sheeler in particular, he, as the banjo player for the Lonesome River Band, will move in and out of the microphone and thereby generate that dynamic change. So he'll stay back a little from the microphone, and then once there's a break, uh, a break in the singing or, or space, he moves in and really hits that lick loud. And that's a great way to do it. But most of us are just playing not on a stage, but in an acoustic environment. And you've really got to think about your volume, uh, listen to yourself and listen to the others, and don't overpower the other players and the other singers. So that's this week's lesson. I hope you found it valuable. Keep on picking.